My name is Monica Yirok, and I'm the executive director here at the Dunkhaus German American Cultural Center. So the Dunkhaus is extremely important to me because I was born and raised in this community. And it is beyond important to me because we need to continue to preserve and promote and advocate for German culture here in Chicago. We need to work collaboratively, create partnerships with everybody so that we do not lose the true essence of German American contributions to society. My name is Annette Rollin. I am the language program coordinator here at Dunkhaus and I connect students with the um, Ryan German class. The German language program here at the Dunkhaus is a strong um, pillar of this cultural center. For more than 50 years, Dunkhaus has treasured and promoted German language and culture right here in Lincoln Square with courses for every age, um, from toddlers to kids, to teens and adults, we reach more than 150 um, kids and um, almost 250 adult students each year. Uh, my name is Steven Sarton, and my job here is I'm over marketing and events. So all the events that take place, I also activate volunteers. We have tons of volunteers that help out at the Don Caps. And the Don Caps wouldn't really run as much as it does without the volunteer efforts that we have here. We've had Reinhardt, which is a gentleman who is German from here, teaching pretzel making classes. Sold out, like, in one week, the positions that were there because people want to come in while they make a pretzel and while they learn kind of that whole skill of that. While it's rising, he, you have beer, and you have wine, and you get to talk to people and just kind of learn a lot about the German culture. I'm Monica Felix, and I'm the Museum and Collections Manager here at the Dunk House. I feel like the museum and collections are really the heart of the German-American community in a way. We maintain a permanent archive of material that was donated entirely by the community. It includes things like um, treasured memories from their families. Uh, we have a collection of rare books. We have genealogical records, pamphlets from any number of different events that are held throughout the year. So the Donk House was originally founded in 1959 as a lobbying organization, and it really was primarily focused on the times at that respective period. So th this organization has really evolved through the times. Founded in 1959, we bought this building in 1967, so we have been in the Donk House for over 50 years and we really try to remain relevant and current with the times. We are embracing change. We are open to constructive criticism, and we really try to be a resource for our neighbors, the community at large, people that are German, people that are German-Americans, people that have an interest in keeping culture alive in Chicago. We have um, seniors, we have college-age kids, um, just it's just it's open for everybody and it's it's a cultural center so it brings everybody together that's how we view the donk house is a place where everybody can belong but that has the flavor and the heritage of german as kind of an undertone of everything we do we just recently started offering cooking tours and I think that can be pretty valuable because people can engage with the culture actively and in a memorable way. So you can come with your, your high school group, learn how to cook schnitzel or make a Wurstsalat, you know, sausage salad, and then learn about German-American history as well, all on the same trip. So I mean, you can take language classes and learn how to cook a traditional dish. You can take a tour. You can join a club like the Schützenverein or the Schlaraffia Club. Uh, and you can also you know, stop by the museum and preserve your family's memories. So that in itself is uh, something that you just don't find everywhere. I hope to see you at our house 